Hey everyone, Ezor here, and I am playing Resident Evil 4 today. Uh, one of my buddies actually is having a little trouble with collecting the bottle caps for this, so I'm going to make a tips and tricks video for this real quick. So, first off, what is it for Resident Evil 4? It is a little shooting gallery. There's four different levels, uh, and you have to, in order to get the achievement to get all the bottle cap figures, you need to beat each one of the four levels six times. Now, after doing one, like, I think it's level A, four times, you get a second set. So there's actually two versions of every level, ultimately ca causing there to be eight. So I'm going to attempt to be able to show you guys everyone. I don't think you can actually choose if it's going to be the first four or the second one, just because I think after a certain point, you just always get that one. <clears throat> so I'm going to try showing you guys at least the second set. Uh, if I can't show the first set, I'm sorry, but... In the end, you have to get them all right away for the, going through the story, and it's much, much better to do it as they show up and just kind of get used to the, the positions of them. So um, you can choose when you first talk to this guy. Actually, I should show you first, too. The doors look like this. I don't know when the first one is. I think the first one's in, like, Chapter 3. Um, it's after you get to the castle. <clears throat> He's just kind of standing there. There's a little, like, tutorial right there, the little glowing paper there. But you can either choose the rapid firing or the sniping. Rapid firing is shotgun and TMP. Sniping is handgun and uh, the original rifle. I always do sniping just as a personal preference. Simply because I'm much more accurate with the handgun. And the sniper rifle is really easy to get the uh, headshots on Salazar. Sorry, I forgot what his name was. So, yeah. So like I said, I choose this one. Once you choose your set, you go in here and you can kind of choose. The background will be different the first couple times. The background will be different the first time. Once you hit, I think, Chapter 4, it turns into the nighttime uh, background. But, like I said, you can choose A, B, C, or D. Um, I'm going to choose A and see what it does. Sorry, I kind of have to be on cat duty. The cats are kind of being a little punks right now. A type. Like I said, I think it's going to give me automatically the second version. Yep. Because the first version gives you a guy right in the center. So, as you choose, after you choose your guys, you can see the figures start showing up. They're just little wooden figures. You can't take damage while you're in here, so don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, a couple things you probably saw already. The figures that show up, if you get a headshot on them, you get 100 points. If you just get a body shot, you get 50 points. Now, after shooting five times in a row and hitting five targets, so getting 100% accuracy after five shots, we see in the background there is a Salazar head. Ah, dang it, and I missed it. Um, that one's worth 500 points. So you always want to try to get him no matter what. If you do the headshots for these guys, like I said, it's only 100 points. So if you can, take your time and try to get a couple of them, but they're not as mandatory as that Salazar. You can shoot him with a pistol, but it's a lot harder, obviously, because it's really back there. Again, this is why I choose the re sniping one, so... <clears throat> It's all muscle memory. That's the biggest problem, is that you just need to remember where everything is. If you only do body shots, as long as you have 100% accuracy, you will get enough points for a bottle cap. In order to unlock one of the bottle caps, you need over 3,000 points. So, like I said, there is a certain point at during each stage that does also give you the reload time, which is what I'm in the middle of doing right now. So it's literally just reload. Um, you want to just reload your pistol. You shouldn't need to ever reload your sniper rifle. If you want, you can use the sniper rifle for uh, getting headshots. Just be very careful because it pierces. So if there's like... Ah, oh, crap. That's not going to end well. Okay. Well, that was a good example of, uh, of the course as in general. So, like I said, you need 3,000 points there once we've gotten any kind of battle cap. You'll know because it kind of screams at you and you, it'll just say it, uh, prize awarded. I'm doing the secondary version of all these, so after you do the first four, you get a secondary version, and I can't go back to choose that first version, so you'll just have to kind of watch for that, maybe look around. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm so far in the game right now that I can't go back and choose it, so uh, I'm going to show you A one more time. Probably just cut to me actually winning it. Yeah, if you shoot that grenade, it does actually kill all of them, so you'd want to try to get that. Like I said, it's all just repetition, repetition, repetition. Just keep trying your best. So here I would have gotten a point, um, and I missed five targets. So the biggest thing, like I said before, is just hitting 100% accuracy and getting those Salazars. Because so, if you get here, if I missed 
just those last five and I got all, all the other ones 100% accuracy, that would have been 2,000 points just from Salazar. And 20 times 50 is another 1,000. So that's really all you need to do is just make sure that you hit at least 20 in a row. The problem is that they get really, really, really stupid. So next up, I'm going to show you the B course. <clears throat> um, you only, like I said, as you progress through the game, you'll unlock more courses. I would suggest doing whatever game type you're on until you get all of them done because <clears throat> you have to do this the uh, 24 matches and get every single one all at one time so it's also a really good trick to get more accuracy especially with like the handgun um, again if you feel like the fight rapid firing is going to be more beneficial for you go right ahead do that but I find it a lot harder just like I said there's no sniping option for that Salazar but the accuracy is just complete crap because of the fact that you can't when you fire your TMP you fire twice almost always so I don't know if you know you saw, but you do also get a grenade, at least with the sniping one. I don't know if you get a grenade with the uh, rapid firing one or not. But you pretty much want to find a really good spot to use that. You can use it in just about every single one. There's a couple of times you can't, just because there's no point to it. Like here, you don't want to use it because you might accidentally hit Ashley. Or you're gonna get it. you're gonna hit Ashley, so you don't want to use it there. I probably could, but I don't think it's got. I don't think you can get it that far back. I think you can go back about to the second row or so, so. For example, in that A part with that guy with the dynamite, if I were to throw it beforehand and get it, chances are I'd be able to do a lot of damage. Oop. Yeah, like I said, the biggest thing is just taking your time, accuracy, you don't have to rush, you don't have to worry about a lot of things. Getting the dynamite will kill all of them. Yeah. So that's B. Um, I'm going to show you now C. I feel really bad that I can't show both versions. Here's C. C is about where it starts becoming really annoying, I think. Oh. Maybe it's D. Either way, I know they're all really annoying once you, until you get the memory down. I have a feeling this isn't going to happen. Another big tip, I always stand off to the left here, as you saw, I just kind of moved over. If you don't, like, that's fine, it's not that big of a deal, but there are some sections where Ashley will stand, like, right in the middle and just be right in your way, and there's nothing you can do about it besides, well, shoot Ashley. So I just always preemptively move over. Just pick a side, not that big of a deal which side you choose, but it generally helps a lot. So there was C. Um, like I said, these are all the second versions, so, I mean, watch these, maybe watch it a couple of times just to make sure that you get, you really get down the, the muscle, like, seeing where stuff's going to be coming. It does shave off a lot of time, like, these, these things take me forever. Oh, that's right. Oh, there's one back there. Yeah. D's annoying as all heck. But yeah, taking your time. Don't worry about headshots right away, like, until you know you can get a couple of headshots. It's all about the Zal Salazars, which you need 100% accuracy for, so it's like you want to just make sure your shots count. You don't have to actually care about the fact that you're getting headshots. If you want to ignore that and just go for headshots, I think you there's enough, there's obviously enough that you can get it, but you need to get 100% headshots, which is really kind of hard to do. I talked to somebody one time who they, they only do the rapid firing and that's all they do is they just get headshots and I'm like, that is, that's insane. I just can't even imagine doing only headshots. Ah, cool. That worked out pretty well. Uh, but I did miss the Salazar, so I don't think I'll get enough points for this one, which is fine. Oh, and got it. All right. Like here, you have to really remember where... All of them are. Yep, I don't think I'll have enough points for it technically, but... No, I do. Okay, cool. So yeah, tips and tricks on this one. Um, like I said, take your time. Do what's comfortable. If you like the rapid firing a lot more, go right ahead, but just know that you're going to need to be headshots and the accuracy is going to be almost impossible. 
for like the last couple because like there if you tr imagine doing the shotgun with all of those ashley's there it just be it, it wouldn't be feasible there's no way you'd always hit ashley's guaranteed so hope it helps um <clears throat> don't know if it will help or not dragon but hope it does yeah if you're not dragon and you found it hey hope it helps you too uh, i just kind of made this video like i said for a buddy just general tips on how to get the bottle caps in Resident Evil 4. Um, again, this was just the second version of them all. There's a first version, which I can't show you anymore because I've already done them. You have to win that one four times, and then you unlock this version. So once you notice it switches, probably come over here, watch the video, and then do that. So sorry I can't make a video on those. I can't choose to go back on them. So, so yeah, hope it helps. Uh, if it did help, give me a like, leave a comment down below saying when you guys got it, if you like doing all of them at once, or if you like doing it, like I said, as it goes on, uh, all that kind of stuff. Big personal preference on what you do here. As far as I, like, this is how I've always done it, just with the sniping stuff. So let me know if you actually can do it with the uh, with the f rapid firing. I'd like to know how many people can do it with the rapid firing or if that's what they prefer. So yeah, leave a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like achievement videos and tips and tricks and let's plays. It's kind of what I do. Till next time, guys. Keep story going.